In February 2000, when I was five months pregnant, the index finger on my left hand became bent. My speech was also slurring, particularly when I felt tired. When I was diagnosed, I was 34 and pregnant with my second child. I was a very active mum and really happy with my life. MND changed my life irrevocably, but not necessarily for the worse. I studied art and history of art when I was younger. I loved painting, but MND stole that pleasure from me. But I've discovered that I enjoy writing. Luckily, I'm now using iGaze technology, which makes writing much easier. I love music too, and it really does keep me going. But film has become my real passion. It can convey a message so powerfully, and can touch many people. I'm coming back as a dancer, because I love the grace and beauty of dance. A few years ago, it dawned on me that MND isn't beating me. Maybe because I no longer fear it, or perhaps I got lucky. But I realized that I can help people through my experiences. I always advise newly diagnosed sufferers not to fear MND. I firmly believe that fear gives the disease more energy. And I'm still around to raise awareness of MND, which unfortunately isn't the case for most sufferers. This spurs me on and I feel as if I have a purpose. I also realized that regret is such a negative emotion. Regret keeps you firmly rooted in the past. You can't change what has already happened. The present is a great place to live, especially without regret clouding your landscape. I'm inspired by people who actively try to change things for the better. I think that I've managed to raise the profile of MLB, especially online, and I'm proud of that. After I was diagnosed with MND, I felt as if the disease was stealing my identity. It took years to find myself again. I feel much stronger as a result. Now I feel that I am still the same person, but with some limitations. The disease certainly doesn't define me.